I'm enjoying crab cake with my granddaughter Shori here <laughs> and my daughter Claudine. You remember, Titi, when we collected blue crumb in the marches? Oh, absolutely. I mean, your mother would eat that for hours and hours. We would be finished way before her. She goes into the tiny little leg. Absolutely. Her, yes. Well, you, can, you don't have to do it with that. I took the meat out of it here uh, to do that recipe. Well, this is a really beautiful recipe. How did you make it? Well, here is how I made it. Break about a slice and a half of white bread and place it into the food processor and then process it to make fresh bread crumb, about three quarters of a cup. To eight ounces of crab, add about three tablespoons of mayonnaise, a dash of pepper, add the dry thyme and some Tabasco, salt, and snip it some chives. And the bread crumb and gently mix everything together. Pour a little bit of peanut oil into a skillet, heat it over medium to high heat, and then form the crab cake into four patty gently with your hand. Very gently arrange them in the hot skillet and saute until they are nicely brown, about three minutes on one side. Then turn the crab cake and cook again about three minutes on the other side. While the crab cake are cooking, Peel a tomato using a serrated peeler. Then cut it in half, seed it and coarsely chopped it. Half and peel an avocado. Cut it into small cube using a paring knife right into the shell. Scoop it on top of the tomato. Add salt, freshly ground black pepper, some red wine vinegar, oil, and a little bit of water and gently stir everything together. Using scissor, snip it some fresh chives. To serve, spoon some of the tomato and avocado sauce on a plate. With the back of your spoon, make a nest in the center and set the crab right in the center and garnish with a chive or two. So sure you want to taste it? Yeah. Good, so you taste it. Mm. Crab cake, isn't that good? Mmm, it's delicious, huh?